A young woman working on a humid summer afternoon mysteriously vanishes whilst talent scouting in a Canadian city. Her body was found around a week later, floating in a river and clear of DNA. To this day, her killer has never been identified. Tonight on Dark Curiosities, the unsolved murder of Simone Sandler. 21-year-old Simone Penny Sandler had just completed her first year of studying tourism and hospitality at Humber College and had taken a part-time summer job with a casting company named Actors and Models Studio, which was located near the Toronto Eaton Centre. She spent the 23rd of July 1994 wandering the streets with a sandwich board tasked with recruiting film extras. In doing so, she met many different types of people. She was born in South Africa and immigrated to Canada when she was eight years old, growing up in the Toronto suburb of Thornhill. Simone herself was described as being a shy, sweet and trusting young woman. However, she was not particularly street smart, having been raised in a fairly sheltered environment. Despite this, during the summer holidays, whilst working, she became friends with homeless people and street dwellers. She struck up a relationship with a young and attractive tattooed man named Joe, who was one year her senior. Together, the friends partied in Woodland near Cherry Beach, smoking marijuana and gathering around roaring bonfires. Linda and Stephen Sandler became extremely anxious the following morning on the 24th of July, concerned that Simone had not made contact with them. Linda expressed in a later interview that she woke with a gut feeling, a twisted sensation in her stomach. Instinct told her that something was wrong. Having waited for as long as they possibly could, the couple contacted the York Regional Police, who reassured them that their daughter was more than likely just enjoying herself at parties. After this interaction, the authorities failed to pass on the Sandler's concerns to the Toronto Police Service and, as a consequence, a thorough investigation did not begin until seven days later when Simone still had not returned home. On the 30th of July 1994, at approximately 3pm, a couple who were driving down Lakeshore Boulevard East made a 911 call. There was a decomposing body floating in the Keating Channel by the Don River. Authorities swiftly arrived on the scene and discovered that the cadaver was that of a female, later confirmed by dental records as Simone Sandler. Her body was bloated and in a stage of decomposition. From the waist down, she was missing her clothes and a white knapsack, which has never been recovered. A green refuse bag was wrapped around her neck, an autopsy confirming that strangulation was the cause of death and there had been an attempted sexual assault. With the body having spent a prolonged time in the waters, any evidence of DNA had been washed away and four days after Simone's body was retrieved from the river, the city experienced a vicious thunderstorm which would have destroyed any other potential evidence which could have been found by police. During their investigation, police interviewed just over 100 people from all over the province and were criticised by many for the mistake regarding York Regional Police's failure to pass on the information regarding Simone's disappearance straight away, as vital clues were more than likely lost. Simone's family were torn at the idea of taking legal action and after mulling over it for a while they decided to not pursue a case as no matter what they did it wouldn't bring their daughter back. In 1998 a $100,000 reward was offered for information but as of December 2018 no further clues have been uncovered and the case has gone cold. Simone's boyfriend Joe was seen by some as a potential suspect in her murder. Reports contradict regarding their relationship status at the time of the 21-year-old's disappearance. Some say they called it quits just the week before Simone's death, 
However, her friends stated that they saw her and Joe holding hands not long before she vanished. Another possibility is that her life was taken by an attendee of one of these parties, yet there has been no evidence to suggest that this is the case, as nobody at the specific party that night said anything was awry. No motive, no leads, no official suspects. With virtually no evidence, the identity of the murderer and their motive for killing an innocent woman remains unknown, despite further tests with modern technology. The Sandler family continue to appeal for information, but sadly it seems unlikely this case will ever be solved. But with more exposure, the truth may finally be revealed and Simone Sandler's family can have justice and the closure they desire. Thank you.